Well, a storm like Tuesday can bring out those scammers. Yeah, it really can, and tonight experts want to make sure that you are protecting yourself. CBS 17's Chloe Rafferty is getting some answers about what you should and should not do when it comes to cleanup. When storms roll through, the damage they leave behind is just beginning. What you're going to want to do is try to get on your feet and get everything taken care of as soon as possible. The Better Business Bureau of Eastern Carolinas wants you to know the right way to approach the cleanup. First, you're going to want to take a picture of the damage and document it as soon as you can do so safely. You'll then want to get in touch with your insurance company and file a claim. You want to be on top of it and you want to get to them first. All of this before you sign contracts or make any major repairs. Sometimes you'll be forced to act quick, especially if you come face to face with um, a contractor at your door. Um, you know, you just need to take a step back and make sure that you have all your ducks in order. If needed, you'll want to make minor repairs to make sure the damage doesn't get worse. The BBB says to wear long sleeves and avoid any live wires. Their biggest tip to avoid scams. Do some research first before you hire anybody to do repairs on your home. This could be getting references from friends and family or even doing an internet search to find reputable companies in your area. You can verify if a company is legitimate on the Better Business Bureau's website. The link is in this story on CBS17.com. Chloe Rafferty, CBS17 News.